Hi, welcome to another episode on the My Fragrance Journey channel. It's been a bit of a while since I posted, but hey, um, Feb, the month of Feb, the leap year is about to end. And um, new fragrances part two, right? So the first one from a very popular Middle Eastern uh, clone for house, sort of, but they're not doing clones now. They are pretty much doing their own thing, you know? Um, so a line that I'm very fond of, the Assad line, right? So the lion, right? So now they've just come up with Assad Zanzibar. So this is more tropically type of fragrance. Top nose, black pepper and sea lavender. Um, the heart is salty coconut uh, water and iris and then vanilla and incense. So definitely very interesting sounding notes the coconut and iris uh, salty coconut water and iris they are loving that and the vanilla and incense in the base definitely something's going to be punchy and a bit of fresh sweet uh, in a way right so this is what they say embrace the essence of adventure with latafa asad zanzibar a fragrance that evokes the spirit of discovery and the allure of exotic destinations named after the mesmerizing island of zanzibar known for its pristine beaches vibrant culture and a rich history this fragrance captures the essence of this tropical paradise in a bottle right so not quite sure what i think of the bottle just blue jazz blue bottle like that but hey um we'll see what it smells like maybe the smell will make up for 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 the look i feel i'm, I'm just not bought into this look maybe a lighter type of blue but hey this is what it is for now right next one from the man the don donald trump so as as he's hitting that you know um uh campaign um trail um he's released um a fragrance called victory 47 edp for men so donald trump is all about making money uh for his campaign trail so this is one of those you know it's this fragrance and a terrible looking sneaker that he's just released but yeah the fragrance top notes of citrus cedar leather and amber uh, in the base so very simple note breakdown fresh woody leathery embery type of fragrance a manly type of fresh manly type of scent i would say right so this is what they say former president of united states donald j trump has greenlit two new fragrances one for men i'll be talking about the men and women both named victory 47 they've just been announced earlier on his official sneakers website like i said sneakers and fragrance and it's already flying off the shelves the trial fragrances inventory has only three fragrances and after nine years of absentia, the brand is back into business. The first thousand bottles of both fragrances are numbered uh, for collectors, right? So the first thousand will be those exclusive ones and then the rest. Uh, yeah, but I don't think this is going to last much. Um, it's to raise funds, essentially, right? So yeah, Victory 47 by Donald Trump, right? Fragrance number three, another one that I got me very, very excited. A great, great, great fragrance from the House of Bulgari, Man in Black Parfum. So yeah, they've had an EDP for a long time. It's time for them to hit us with the Parfum. And then maybe the Elixirs will follow uh, later in the year or next year, right? So Man in Black Parfum, top notes, vibrant, spice accord, and essence of Elemi, tuberose, absolute, and iris essence, the mid, and then dark wood accord, benzoin, air from cyan absolute, in the base right so this is what they say about it bulgari has launched bulgari man in black perform designed by the legend the man alberto marias anything about alberto marias man i'm excited most of the fragrances that i have from him are great great fragrances yeah a masculine leaning fragrance adding to the ongoing list of three different variations that currently exist under the man in black moniker as a brand, uh, Bulgari has banished opulent limited release fragrances with generally accessible collections that play an ode to luxury that is that is its fashion line often falls under the man in black line has been synonymous with clean spicy dark scents uh, which are renowned amongst masculine fragrance fragrance wearers as the cologne film characters like john wick and batman may wear right so it's dark it's spicy that's the man in black dna in a way just as the bottle looks it's dark it's edgy um yeah so that's that's what they go for with the man in black yeah that's at number three
right? Um, fragrance number four on the list from another line of fragrances that I'm very fond of. I'm currently wearing this one, uh, Salvatore Ferragamo, the leather line, right? So now you've got Ferragamo red leather by Salvatore Ferragamo. Top notes here, bergamot, ginger, mandarin, and then the mid, you've got jasmine absolute, orris, and rosemary. And then vetiver sandalwood leather accord in the bed. So fresh zingy up top. And then you've got the, the herbal mid. And then the base, you've got the woods right there. Right? So Ferragamo red leather is a sensual EDP. Um, the story of a gentleman exploring his own desires and effortlessly authentic. Right? This fragrance is a sensual eau de parfum of aromatic uh, leather with citrus accents like the boldest of colors it is an expression of commitment self-confidence and italian sensuality yeah that's what the man salvatore serigama has to say about this fragrance right last but not least on the list from the house uh, brand juliet has a gun comes juliet so top notes here pink paper black cherry cashmere then you've got the heart of jasmine's as absolute sunbug and then the base of tonka beef right so well, how they describe the fragrance here a seductive dark cherry blended with woody modern notes of pink pepper cashmere and its heart a beautiful jasmine absolute a very sensual fragrance with long lasting trail and elegant and and romantic facet with flirtatious side and a hint of rebellion a fruity floral for the powerful man or woman it's a unisex right um the bottle is a passionate red in is a juliet's reflection a sensual and warm hue contrasted by the metallic lettering and the cap a final wink to the bold paradoxes of the modern hero or heroine right yeah so that's it um for the end of uh february um five fragrances uh, i'm excited about the fair that uh, aside i'll definitely be getting that in the price of pro be, be great and then i will add on to my ferragamo with the red leather definitely for sure i'll be adding that yeah so those two are definitely eye-catching for me definitely will be landing up in my collection eh? yeah with that said please like subscribe uh, share the channel till next time peace